How's it going everyone? My name is... These things keep getting in the way. They're so long. Look. I wet my hair. Ow. Ow. How's it going everyone? My name is Dave and I want to welcome you to this channel and another two minute devotion. And today we're going to be talking about prayer. Wouldn't you love to just have a better prayer life? I know I would. I mean, there have been times when quite literally I have fallen asleep during my own prayer. So I certainly need some help. So that's what we're going to talk about. And I'm going to give you one tip that will improve your prayer life today. Roll that bumper. Okay, so some people have written in and said that I'm not sticking to the two minutes. So today I'm gonna to be very strict. So let's put two minutes on the clock and let's get straight into it. So according to the Bible, if you're a follower of God, then you're supposed to pray from the moment the sun comes up until it goes down again. From the moment the sun rises until it goes down, everything that the sun touches. I mean, you're supposed to pray wherever you are, all day, every day, without ceasing. I mean, do you even come close to that? I mean, if I was to add up all of the little prayers I say throughout the day like, God, please help me get that car park. God, I pray that my sports team wins. God, I pray that my girls have done the dishes. It would probably add up to maybe like 45 minutes if I was lucky. But one of the first followers of Jesus named Paul told us to play every play, not play. We're not playing. This is not playing. This is praying. It's close, but it's praying, not playing. But one of the first followers of Jesus named Paul told us that we should be joyful always and to never stop praying, which was easy for him to say considering he grew up in a culture that had established a list of very short prayers or blessings called Berakah. Now these Berakah prayers could be recited throughout the day. So they had one for just about every moment of every day. As soon as you woke up, there was a blessing you would say. As soon as your feet touched the floor, there was a blessing you would pray. When you started eating breakfast, when you put your shoes on, when you went outside for the first time, when you saw a tree, when you saw a cloud, when you saw the sun rising, there was a blessing for just about everything. They even had a blessing for when you went to the bathroom, which makes a lot of sense because if you've ever had a time when you weren't able to go to the bathroom, I guarantee you, you were praying for something. Now this all may seem a little bit legalistic to you, but it helped them to pray all day without ceasing. So I wonder, what would your week look like if you recited just this one Berakah prayer every morning? I am grateful for you, God of the universe, for this new day. May your love and compassion be reflected in everything I do. I'd be willing to bet that if you prayed that every single day for a week, you would be a lot more focused on God. So that brings us to the question of the day. Who of you are willing to say this blessing with me every day for the next week? I'll make sure that I write it in the show notes below so that you can learn it, but then are you willing to say it with me. Well, I really hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and leave a comment letting me know if you're willing to say this blessing every day for the next week. I'll see you next time.